Say hi from Cherish Math. This is the question. AOB is a quarter circle. DE is equal to X. BE is equal to 4. And AD is equal to OD. Find the length of X. Let's assume that the radius of this quarter circle to be R. And so for this part will be R over 2. And this is R over 2. I am going to expand this quarter circle into a semicircle. And since for this part is at the right angle, if I extend the line DE, this is going to happen where the line is going to meet at the corner of this semicircle. I am going to label for the corner of this part here to be C, and since OC is the radius of the semicircle, I'm going to put up R here and I will try to work out what is the length of this CD by using Pythagoras theorem. This is the first equation. By expanding it, this is what I get. And the length of CD, when I simplify, I'm going to get the square root of 5 divided by 2 times R. I'm going to label the angle here to be theta. So by referring to the triangle BEC, and through supplementary angle, the value for this part is going to be 90 degrees minus theta. For this corner, it's going to be at right angle. And looking at the COD, for this part, it happens to be the same by using the supplementary angle. And I got here 90 degrees minus theta. Next, for the triangle of COD, it is in fact similar to the triangle of BEC. And in this case, if I use the length of the BE, which is measuring at 4 units, divided by R over 2, this is known as the scale factor, and it is applied to the 2R divided by the square root of 5 divided by 2 times r, which is the length of the CD here. For the length of 2r, it means the entire length of BC. Let me simplify this part. This is going to cancel. 2 times 2, I'm going to get 4, and I simplify with this part here. And the value of r at the end here is 2 times the square root of 5. By substituting the value into the r, I'm going to get for this part 2 times the square root of 5. And it is applied for this part as well. While for the length of the CD, this is going to be 5. I am trying to use the triangle of BEC and through this triangle, I will have to work out for what is the value of x through Pythagoras theorem. And this is the first equation I form up. Next, expanding it, this is what I get. Rearrange this equation. And now I am trying to factor it. The value of the x that I'm getting here is x equal to negative 13 and x equal to 3. The value that I'm going to pick up is x equal to 3 units, simply because the length doesn't exist in the form of negative. And I solved the puzzle. Thanks for watching, and please subscribe.